Hello, it's Markham Matosh with Cheer for Markham3D.com, and we're going to be playing around with SVG files and how do we can get them into Blender. Now, there's a lot of free stuff out there, and I'm just going to use this one free SVG that I came across. So I'm just going to delete the cube, file, import, SVG. So this is kind of a vector um, object that normally you create in vector programs such as Adobe Illustrator. Um, so let's just open my vector up and let's, let's just increase the size of these vectors, scale five. And I've just downloaded some floral flourishes. And so we can kind of have a look. I'm just going to click on one of them tab and you can see that it's all one giant vector, like a giant Bezier curve. Now let's pick which one I like best. I do like this one here that I've already got. So let's get rid of everything else that we don't need delete and i'm going to select these four control j to join so now they're one object and in edit mode i'm going to move this into the center so at the moment it's a bezier curve and we do whatever we do with bezier curves however we can convert this to a mesh by having the svg selected i'm going to go to object convert to mesh from curve or meta or surface or text and now this is a very heavily dense mesh now what's some cool things we can do this for instance i'm going to go into the modifiers add modifier and i'm going to solidify that puppy let's just bring that down a little bit 0.01 is that and so now it's just a little bit of a solid that's nice <laughs> whoop de doo let's do something else really cool I'm going to do shift A at a plane and I'm just going to control R just to put a few edge loops in there and from here I'm going to select just one of the middle lines I'm going to turn on proportional editing here at the top and I'm going to go G, Z and I just want a bit of a curve in there now let's move this down, G, Z I'm going to go back and select this let's just try and maximize the space we can have now let's do something really cool what I'm going to do is I'm going to project this SVG or the our now mesh onto this plane so I'm going to click add modifier I'm going to select shrink wrap and I want the target to be this plane now that looks kind of yuck now let's rearrange our solidify modifier and our shrink wrap modifier and it is underneath. So if I go offset zero, we've kind of got this sitting on top. It's a little bit, a little bit yuck. Um, but you think about what are the possibilities with this? Let's say maybe you've got a medi medieval person and you need to put some flourishes on their armor just a little bit. Now you can bake that texture with these florals. That's some cool stuff you can do. Um, especially with this SVG, you might have to clean it up a little bit, especially like um, where the mesh comes across all the way over here. You might need to clean it up so it's a little bit vertical, so we've got smaller triangles. Um, but that's just something that you can think about doing and you know, you have at the back of your mind that maybe one day it might come into handy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. I'm releasing a video every Monday, Friday with cool content like this.